Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook <clears throat> and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. It's Celine Driver once again. I am bringing to you today another unboxing and review from one of, uh, well, one of my, the favorite um, manufacturer on this channel and on other channels as well. Uh, this is from Zelos, as you can see. Um, this Zelos uh, comes to me uh, via uh, another owner um, who um, decided that this particular watch uh, wasn't uh, for him anymore and I obtained it. Uh, and I'm very happy to have it even though it is a, uh, another version of a watch I already own which is the Thresher. I happen to own a green Thresher. Uh, and this is a blue one so I was very happy to get a hold of one because I originally wanted the blue one but changed my mind and went with the green one because I don't have a green watch in my collection up to that point but I still wanted a blue one and uh, now I have one so we have the typical Zelos box and uh, these are the extra links that I put into a baggie uh, typical wood Zelos box, which is high quality, and I love them so. Uh, we have the usual Zelos, uh, new Zelos watch roll. They've gone from the blue one to this kind of um, brownish one, anyway. And uh, we have inside, uh, I mean, there's nothing earth shattering here. We have the Zelos uh, rubber strap, which uh, wasn't used and uh, isn't being used now. Uh, we have the Zelos uh, card, the metal card, and you can see that this is serial number 59. It was purchased in July of 2020. And then over here, we have the actual watch the blue thresher or I might call it the gator thresher because it does have hints of orange in there on a blue dial I mean there's orange there on the second hand there's a little orange there on the GMT and there's a little orange there's some orange on the GMT portion of the bezel so I will probably call this the gator thresher because I am crazy that way <clears throat> very nice watch I mean I, you all already know I'm, I'm predisposed to being a very big uh, Zelos fan and I'm already a big fan of the Thresher line in general I already own one and I've enjoyed wearing it the only quirk with I thought it was just my green one but um this blue one also has the same issue is the bezel is incredibly, incredibly stiff. Now I worked on this one. Uh, I put some lubricant, it tried to get some lubricant in between the bezel and the uh, watch base. And I worked the hell out of it last night. Um, and I got it to loosen up but it's still very, very stiff. So I'm guessing it's just going to be something that has to be worked out with age because the alternative is to pop that bezel off and play with the spring and keep popping it off until I'm happy. And my track record with popping bezels off on watches has been abysmal. Usually this part of the watch case gets damaged uh, or in the case where I actually taped off the watch and used a uh, case back knife to uh, get the bezel off the bezel went flying and, and uh, got damaged so my record uh, on playing with one of these bezels is <laughs> abysmal so I think I'm and I, I don't really need this thing to be a dive watch and it turns easy enough that I can make it a GMT watch so I think I'm just gonna leave it alone and enjoy Enjoy my new watch. You know, leave her alone. Because once you start screwing around with something that you aren't good at, 
it it ends it doesn't end in anything but tears so what do we got here we got the blue thresher on the metal bracelet uh, this is the newest style zelos metal bracelet with the double push button deploy milled out clasp closes very solidly micro adjuster is built in down here um, you can use this slider you slide this forward and then you can move with you know it's stiff which you want it to be but you can move this in and out and there's like three different detents mine was sort of in the middle moving in is harder than out because it's spring loaded oh, too far there that's where I want it there's like three different detents and, uh, and with the size of the um, links and the micro adjuster I'm pretty sure you'll find a uh, comfortable uh, place to set the thing uh, date window is at the three o'clock it's uh, colored in this case it's colored the same as the watch face and that is true of my green one as well I'm gonna put this on so you get a good wrist shot and on my seven and a quarter inch wrist it fits perfectly absolutely nothing wrong with the fitment you got the down the barrel shot you can see that the uh, lugs are very short and it fits very well uh, I'd say this watch would probably be good down to a six and a quarter inch wrist easily enough um, I've seen this watch on, on on smaller wrist guys in pictures uh, and it looks it doesn't look out of place and just look at the the blue on that dot. I love the the, the matte finish on it and the uh, the pattern on the outer track and it's a sandwich dial as you can see um, I'm not able to do a really good loom shot on this thing but trust me uh, go look at the picture on on, on the Zelos website um, this thing is a loom monster and that sandwich dial with the uh, loom disc underneath will glow like crazy And I love the hints of orange all around the watch. The, the, uh, orange and blue, I mean, other than me being a Florida Gator fan and loving that color combination, orange and blue work so well together uh, that it, it's just a great color combination. Now, I want to bring in my green one so you can compare. the. There are subtle differences between the blue and the green. The hands are the biggest difference. I mean, you have that gold tone on hands uh, there and um, you don't have a second color really on the uh, second hand of the green one like you do on the blue one uh, pretty much everything else is the same though but you know just the, I wanted you to compare the hands between them both look fantastic they really do I, I really uh, I, re I really like uh, the Thresher design. I've liked the Thresher design ever since I saw the pictures of this thing as a prototype like 18 months before Elshin finally released it. And he was just toying with the idea of this watch at the time. And I said, I kept saying to him every time I, I could say to him, I said, you remember that 42 millimeter GMT you showed me? You got to put that in production. You got to put it in production. I'm not saying that I was any kind of influence on Elshin to put this watch into production, but I was begging him to put this watch into production. And it was this colorway that I that was the picture he showed me. It was this, and it looked pretty much the same as this one does. Uh, so I am grateful that this watch went into production. Have my sheet o facts here. This is the Zelos Steel Blue Thresher. Uh, there are five colorways of this watch. I think as I'm making this video, four of the five were sold out. The only one that's left is the black one. Uh, this one did even come in the Mother of Pearl, which was a first for Zelos, and that sold out very quickly. Uh, but the green and the blue and the mother of pearl and the uh, fourth one, uh, I, I, was it a meteorite? They're all gone. So 
down to the black one or picking one of these up on the used market. Uh, it is a 42 millimeter case, 50 millimeter on the tip to tip. So it is a rather broad watch, but the stubby um, lugs on it do sort of make up for that. And the fact that the bracelet drops vertically away from the case, not stuck out like this, but go can go down like this and cinch down real nice. Um, really makes the uh, lug width a true lug width. It's a thick boy at 15 millimeter. Oh, it has a signed crown too. I forgot to mention that. And it's a 22 millimeter lug to lug. It is a 500 meter water resistant watch. So this is a diver. I mean, it is a GMT watch, but it is a diver. And it is marketed as a dual purpose GMT and dive watch. I, I, I'm, I'm sure somebody has done that before, but I cannot recall any, any of them. Um, I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me, hey, come on, guy. The such and such watch did this years ago. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll stipulate up front that I may be wrong when I say this, but I don't recall anybody else making a dual purpose GMT and dive watch. And the bezel reflects that. You have an inner bezel track with dive indicators on it. And you have an outer bezel track with the GMT on it. And this thing will line up and do GMT function and it will do dive function. So that's kind of neat. I mean, that's, you know, it may not be a first, but it is somewhat of a rarity. Uh, sapphire crystal, slightly domed. Uh, 128 click bezel. A very stiff 128 clicks, but 128 clicks. Um, and it uses an ETA 2893 Elabora or Elabor, E L A B O R E, Elabor, Elabor, Elaborate, the hell with it, Elaborate, Elaborate. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Um, movement. Oh, and it's a sapphire crystal on the backside too. Uh, it is a decorated movement, slightly decorated. It does have a custom rotor for Zelos. Uh, you can see the escapement banging away there. Um, not a lot of decoration on there, but just a little bit to uh, kind of make it fancy. Uh, a little fancier than normal. I like the um, custom made rotor. It looks very much like, if if I can get it out here, it looks somewhat like the uh, the card. You know, it has that same vibe to it, which is kind of neat. But it's a world map, you know, owing to the fact that it's a Zelos. I mean, it's a Zelos GMT. You see the Z logo on the, on the rotor. You see the world map, so that kind of signifies that it's a GMT. Kind of neat. And that's all the stats. Okay, so I got all that in. Uh, screw down crown. It disengages with a very satisfying pop. First click does the date. Second click hacks the movement and allows you to set the time. Somewhere around there. And then it re-engages the screw down. It's a little stiff. There it goes. You got to be positive with these watches. These are not, you know, these are not uh, wimpy watches. You've got to, you've got to make, you got to put in a little effort to uh, get it to do things. I guess. Certainly got to do a lot of effort for this watch to get the bezel to move. <laughs> this is hard, guys. And luckily, I don't have to use the bezel very much, but. Uh, One more. There. Very stiff bezel on, on that watch. This one is a little looser because I've been working on it uh, with the lubricant. And then, you know, I wrapped the towel around it so I didn't tear my hand up. I just kept running the damn thing over and over and over again. It did seem to loosen up. So maybe it's a, it's, it's it's obviously a factor of you got to work with the, with the thing. 
But again, for me, another uh, another triumph from Zelos. The Thresher was definitely a, a, a fantastic watch, and judging by the fact that they're almost all sold out, uh, sort of a testimony to the fact that people really liked this design. And uh, I'm sure he'll do more. <laughs> Um, but right now we're working on other, we, we're, I'm not working on anything. <laughs> Elshin's working on other designs and other releases. So, uh, looking forward to those. Um, so I'm going to wrap the video up there with my very happy feelings about being the new owner of this blue, uh, thresher. So if you liked the video, and I hope you did, please thumbs up. The thumbs up, uh, clicking on the like button, the thumbs up button, whatever you want to call it, does help. Uh, it makes the channel more searchable with the YouTube algorithms and brings more users to the channel, which is nothing but a good thing for me. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I read them all. I respond to them all. However, if you're going to be a jackass, I'm going to block you and I'm going to delete the comment. Well, first I'm going to delete the comment, then I'm going to block you. And my block list is long and indistinguished. Um, if you're new to the channel, of course, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Thanks for finding me. Uh, please click the subscribe button. Uh, when you do, click the bell icon next to it. So when I upload more, more material or I go live, which I'm starting to do more and more, uh, you will be notified. Uh, again, thanks everybody for stopping by and watching my video. Uh, please stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will see you soon.